What is up guys, International Stacker back. And boy, do I have something interesting to unbox. Let's go. One Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker back here again. My channel, I uh, make videos traveling the world, buying and stacking gold and silver, and I give a lot of it back to you. So please like, comment, and subscribe. You do not want to miss what's coming up with Santa Claus with the CLAWS is coming to town, which means you're going to get some free gold and silver, maybe, if you're subscribed, like the video, and have those notifications turned on. So for those of you finding this video that are like, what the heck, I didn't search gold and silver. Well, in my professional life, I work in emergency management. Um, and what I do there is I help states, countries, large cities prepare for, mitigate against, respond to, and recover from disasters. So in the early onset of the beer flu, I don't dare say it, COVID-19, um, you know, people were looking for respiratory protection for that. Um, anything N95 on up was the ideal uh, protection. And yes, that virus is smaller than what an N95 can protect up to. However, most particles are not that small. And N95 is what medical professionals and folks did use uh, for the most part. Some of them did use what's called a PAPR, which we're going to talk about here in a second. So what did I just unbox here? I have... Um, something here that was sent to me by Mirror Safety. And for me, this is the best all out and easy to use respiratory uh, protection you could use for anything, including another pandemic. Now, obviously the death rate or case fatality rate um, was lower than expected for the current one we're in, but that doesn't mean we couldn't have one in the future that's much higher. Um, it doesn't mean if you live next to a nuclear power plant, you couldn't have an issue. It doesn't mean a million different things couldn't happen, including um, pesticides. Uh, did you know, like, if a pesticide plant blew up or a train car carrying pesticides uh, had an issue, um, that, that is a nerve agent. So if you have those leak into the community, that's a nerve agent. Something like this could protect you. Um, so what I just unboxed was an extra canister uh, because I'm going to be shooting another unique video here soon, which I need that for. And, you know, I know this isn't gold and silver, guys, but, I mean, basically, I help countries and stuff prepare. I'm a professional prepper, I guess. So I thought I'd unbox some of this stuff and kind of give you guys a discussion on my thoughts on respiratory um, protection. I'm going to have to edit that out. Almost doxed myself there, but here are some gloves. And um, good sea burn type gloves, which is chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, are always going to have an inner and an outer glove so let me put these to the side again this is for another video this is for another video but let me talk to you a little bit about respiratory protection and why i think um, mirror safety is the best and this is not a paid advertisement they did not pay me to make this video um, however thank you to mirror safety for sending me some samples to review and give my opinion on so why do i like these there's a few different types of respiratory protection out there but basically there's air purifying respirators, which these fall into, and guess what? Also N95s can fall into that class. There's Pappers, powered air purifying respirators, and I have a video coming out on those soon. Um, however, those you have to change batteries. It needs a lot more maintenance, and et cetera, et cetera, and I cover that in another video. And then there's uh, SCBAs, which are self-contained breathing apparatus. Those give you the highest level of protection. They give you up to 10,000 um, protection. Um, and those are used by professional rescuers going into hot zones and decontaminating and saving people, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. These right here, and I don't know what the prices are off the top of my head. I'll put the prices up. To me, are the best all-out protection. Um, these with these canisters can give you um, CBRN protection. And what does that mean? It means that there's a set uh, number of chemicals it protects against. But maybe I'll try to find it and throw it up on screen. Uh, but the cool thing is, <clears throat> look how long you can keep these for. It expires in 2041. So when you're preparing for disasters, 
The number one thing you want is emergency food and water. And even FEMA, Department of Homeland Security, everyone says you should be self-sufficient for at least three weeks. Um, well, they say 72 hours to three weeks a month. You want to be ready for a month. That can be <clears throat> an earthquake cuts off roads, you're good. That could be what happened in Texas. You get trapped in an ice storm, you can't go out, you're good. Um, that could be you're trapped in a hurricane for a week and can't get out and need rescue. Instead of riding, riding help to FEMA on your roof, you can be... Um, protected and maintained and prepared and help you, your family, maybe even your neighbors survive. Um, also a pandemic. Beginning of this thing, no one wanted to go out. We didn't know what was going on. So imagine if we got a pandemic where the case fatality rate or CFR was much higher, people wouldn't want to go out and shop. So a month of food and water, I think is mandatory for everybody. Um, the water, put it in a closet, forget about it. Water is good indefinitely. Water only goes bad because of the container. So if you have plastic bottles and stuff like that, um, you don't want to have it in hot areas. You don't want to have a direct sunlight because you have issues with the chem chemicals getting the water, but also the bottles can break down. Uh, food. Go to preparewithis.com. Right now is a huge sale. It's my Patriot Supply. Um, I am a rep for them, and I do get a uh, uh, bonus if you guys buy through my link. My link has a major deal going on right now for the New Year's. Best deal you're going to find on the Internet Put it in your closet, forget about it. Freeze-dried food is good for 20 years, 25 years, okay? Now these, why I like these is one, all they need is a canister, which you see here is good for years and years and years and years. Put that in a closet, forget about it, but keep it in the wrapper, don't unwrap it like I did. And you need the mask, that is it. Um, you don't have to change batteries. Um, you don't have to do any extra kind of maintenance. You just got to be able to screw that in. Make sure you got a good seal, and I'll make videos on that later. Um, these versions do have hydration uh, capability, so you can drink water if you have it on for an extended period of time. This one is made for firearms, and several uh, world militaries actually use this exact model. I have to look. I think it's Romania or some, somewhere over there. Uh, and this is a non-military version. So this one, you can get it up close to your eye with optics. You see how it's recessed in. And you can get a good cheek weld on your weapon and be able to see it on the sight line. This one is more like civilian or anyone who's not going to be running and gunning, you know, um, response, that type thing. So these two full face mask air purifying respirators, again, I think are top notch and um, are good for the everyday person, require little training, require little maintenance. And the price point on these are amazing. And my video where I'm really going over respiratory protection, I go in depth, guys. I've been filming it. Um, you know, those PAPR setups are anywhere from a thousand to like three, four thousand dollars just for the unit. Then you have to add the battery charge, et cetera, et cetera. These, you can put them in a closet, forget about it, put it in your bug out bag or go bag and forget about it. Now, do I think every person in the world needs one of these? Not necessarily, no. Um, if you got some extra cash, would it be a good option to have it and just throw it in a closet in case you ever need it? Sure. What is this going to protect you against? If you live next to any kind of factories or any kind of, um, places that hold gas or chemicals, uh, anything that's going to cause noxious air. So think if a chemical plant explodes, uh, if you're near railroad tracks, hazardous materials go by on the, that, if you had a derailment. Um, any kind of future pandemic or epidemic this would protect against. Um, if you're close to a um, nuclear power plant, you would want to definitely have something like this. Um, this is going to keep the bad iodine from getting in your thyroid. There's something called potassium iodide, um, which you shouldn't take unless it's a real event because it can be harmful to you. Um, or I should say harsh, not harmful, because it does save your life. And what that does is it puts good iodine in your thyroid and blocks the radioactive iodine coming in. And radioactive iodine is what would be in the fallout, okay? Um, so you're near a nuclear power plant, good. You're near like petrochemical plants, great. Um, you know, anything like that. This is going to protect you from a lot of stuff, okay? So again, this is just a real quick unboxing video where I wanted to touch on both these things. There is a link in the description below. It's my affiliate link, so I do get a bonus if you guys buy off there, but I've had these for a couple months now. I've tested them in several situations. I've worn them for extended period of time because before 
I give my stamp of approval or endorsement on something I really want to make sure. And by all means, this is your best all around high quality protection um, for a limited, for a small price um, with very little maintenance and upkeep you're going to need. Now, if you're wearing this, can you just run into a hot zone? Can you run in and save people and do this? No. I'm going to get into that uh, later, but you actually would have to have a whole suit set up if you're in a hazardous area. Uh, gloves, suit, I have all that, so I'm going to make future videos in the, in the future. If you guys like this and you like these kind of topics and you want me to get way more in depth, I can get super technical. I've taught classes on this stuff, guys, for CWAs and ticks, chemical warfare agents and toxic industrial chemicals. If you want me to get crazy, I can. Um, but anyways, just want to make this general overview and let you know about this company, Mirror Safety. They are the bomb.com. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And I'm going to go record another video. So I guess I'll say catch you on the next one. Do not miss Santa Claus. Woo! One stacker.